Hi, I'm Eric Sorensen, author of Sorensen's Guide to Powerboats. I'm at the Grady White Boats Factory in Greenville, North Carolina to walk you through a just-built Marlin 300 before she heads down the road. Just behind me, you'll notice quite a few J.D. Power & Associates trophies and also National Marine Manufacturers Association CSI trophies. These recognize the achievement of high levels of customer satisfaction among Grady White owners. Let's go take a look at the Marlin 300. Here we are on the deck of the Marlin 300, a walk-around cabin-style boat. Grady White pioneered the walk-around design back in 1975, and the Marlin, the first version of which debuted in 1988, was the first Grady White to incorporate the C. Raymond Hunt Associates CV2 hull. This 300 is one of the larger models in Grady White's lineup from 18 to 36 feet, and it shares the same CV2 hull as the 30-foot center console sister ship. Now here at the helm on the Marlin 300, first of all, we're elevated nicely off the water a couple of steps above the cockpit. That gives us good sight lines all around it. And as you can see, the visibility is excellent all the way around here. You can look right through the windshield. There's no big obstructions. It's, uh, it's really a, a driver, boat driver's paradise up here. What I like about the Grady Whites, you have a steering wheel and a throttle engine controls that are right at the right position, at the right angle, at the right height to make it very comfortable to, op to operate the boat. Now this is an optional radio box for electronics. The standard configuration is a flat panel here for flush mount electronics, so you really have a lot of options there too. The seats on this boat are uh, vertically and horizontally adjustable. They slide back and forth, so it can make it fit just about anybody. You can also get a seat with a flip-up bolster here if you want. And over here to port is a companion bench seat option as well. Now the hard top up here in the helm works real well, gives you protection from the elements. You can also enclose it all the way around, including drop curtains across the back. There's plenty to hang on to on the sides and the back here. We've got uh, rocket launchers, rod holders that are easy to reach from the cockpit, spreader lights to light things up back in the cockpit at night. Up here we have a pair of electronics boxes, and they're big ones, plenty of room there. Lots of headroom up here. It works out really well. Also overhead, net storage so you can put your life jackets there readily accessible. Really good design. There's plenty of storage up forward here as well. There's a rigging station behind the helm seat with drawers below. There's a 32 gallon live well behind the passenger seat with an 1100 gallon hour pump and it's got a full column distribution system that gently circulates the water to keep the bait fresher longer. There's storage underneath the step right here, just lift the lid up. Drawers underneath of the helm seat here and a storage box below the passenger seat and there's also storage nooks and crannies and cup holders outboard of the two seats here. The non-skid on these boats keeps you on your feet it's secure to walk on, but you can kneel on it comfortably, and it's also very easy to wash off. You can wash the deck with a sponge. There's large scuppers that are flush with the deck that drain quickly over the side, two, two per side on this boat. There are three rod racks below the gunnels on each side of the boat and two rod holders in the gunnels. We have tow kick space, plenty of tow kick space and tow rails back aft. This hatch lifts up and there's a storage bin inside. That lifts right out, gives you direct access to the bilge. We have a 290 quart insulated fish box. It drains overboard, no pumps or macerators or valves to worry about. Let's have a look at the transom seat. As you can see, it's very easy to raise and lower. It's also comfortable to sit on. It's got a thick cushion. It's soft all the way around the perimeter so you can lean up against it. And the supports even double as handholds so you got something to grab onto. And it lifts right up for access down to the optional generator and the other components below the deck. The transom door itself is a wonderful design. It's made out of solid fiberglass, very strong, supported by heavy-duty stainless hardware and a latch that has a spring-loaded pin to keep it from opening unexpectedly. And finally, back aft here is the boarding ladder, which can easily be reached and opened by somebody in the water and also by somebody in the boat. And that's a key safety feature to be able to reach it from the water. This 300 was ordered with a pair of 250-horse Yamahas. You can get up to 350-horse outboards if you really want to turn this into a rocket ship. All of these engines, whatever combination you get, provide economical, clean, and quiet power. And the boat has an excellent range, too, with a big fuel capacity. Now let's have a look forward. Now one thing that makes the 300 Marlin unique 
is the recessed walk-around design. So the walkway forward is down low and it's got a railing that leads all the way to the bow so you have something to hang on to and there are also handholds as you move forward. Now up in the bow of the 300 Marlin, you can see we've got a nice tall handrail here and the deck is recessed so it's a nice secure area to be when you're up forward. Anchor pulpit with a chute and a preventer to keep the anchor from going back overboard unexpectedly and an anchor windlass with up and down switches here and also back at the helm so you can raise and lower the anchor at the push of a button. Can't get any easier than that. Cushions snap in place up here if you want to come up here and sit down and enjoy the view. And finally we have a big 20 inch hatch that opens up lots of fresh air and sunlight down in the cabin. So let's take a look at the cabin now. Lots of room down here in the, in the 300 mile and plenty of headroom. This cherry table, beautifully crafted I might add, drops down and has a filler cushion so this converts to a to a double berth up here and also you'll notice that these burrs on the, on the Grady Whites are, are very very long they're comfortable you can actually sleep on them. Over here at the galley there's also a refrigerator, a microwave oven and a glass top electric stove with touchpad controls. There's a window directly above the galley as well to give you a view of the outside of the boat. Opposite the galley is the head it's got a lot of room, it's well equipped with a vacuum flush head well, also with a holding tank and pump out as standard equipment. There's a mid cabin in the 300 Marlin as well, right below the helm area access from the cabin. Now this 300 Marlin is ready to ship to Florida. Wherever you live, your best source of information about Grady White is your Grady White dealer. So just go to GradyWhite.com to find out the name and the location of the closest Grady White dealer to you. You'll also find specifications, performance data, and options on the boat you're interested in. Also be sure to ask your dealer to show you how this Grady compares with other boats in its size range. I'll see you on the water.